Speaking as a 57 year old man, do you remember when youth did not die suddenly, did not die unexpectedly, that they were anomalies, they weren't commonalities? Do you remember when youth and medication did not go hand in hand? It was at UFOs, you would hear about it, but you wouldn't see it. And before I get into that, let me read something first. Data compiled by the International Olympic Committee showed that 1,101 sudden death in athletes under the age of 35 between 1966 and 2004, that's in a 38 year span here, an average annual rate of 29 sudden death across all sports. Now, between March of 2021 and March of 2022, in a one year span, in a single year, at least 769 athletes have suffered cardiac arrest, collapse, and or have died on the field worldwide. It gets better. Sudden cardiac arrest is the leading cause of death in young athletes in the United States. Research it, this was January 2023 on Yahoo News. In the US, let me repeat that, sudden cardiac arrest is the leading cause of death in young athletes. Now, I don't want to get into all the other particulars, but I'm going to tie this to consumption. And I've said this before, look at everything pre-1980. Go pre-1980, go pre-1900, go pre-1918. People used to die from lead poisoning because they drank from lead cups, or from youth would die from conditions not like today. They wouldn't drop dead because they were physically active, because they were always physically active back in those days. They worked every day physically. We are now in a society where youth are cautionary when they're doing sports. They're being cautious when doing sports. Think about that for a second. And I'm gonna tie this specifically to consumption. I've proven it, I've talked about this before. We're at 57 in the last three and a half years. I got off my medication, I got off my medical dependencies, my medical devices. Due to my lifestyle changes, due to the primary consumptions that I consume, is nutrient density, whole food, wholesome food, real food, right? But let's go beyond that. The, 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 the terminology fat shaming and the marketing that fat is beautiful and I'm not just speaking on, on, on obesity here I'm going to talk about the fit fat those that look healthy but they're dropping dead like we're not just reporting and because it's consumption it's what they're built on the inside they're filled with visceral fat they're filled with diseases they're filled with toxicities they're filled with life terminating diseases and that's what they're filled with and where did this marketing come from? The, the fat is beautiful and, and, and stop. You can't even say nothing no more, right? But who's spending that money? Who's looking at the return on investment on that money? Look at the movie Wally. -E. The movie Wally -E wasn't a movie. It was a documentary, a future documentary of where we're heading. And that's exactly where we're heading. Barcodes for consumption medication, for revolving doors of hospital, for suddenly dying because you're active. Think about that. Let that sink in. It doesn't make sense. And again, speaking as a 57 year old man, I clearly remember when you did not die suddenly and did not die unexpectedly, and that death was, did it cause of death? It was car accidents. Jean Guy Bourguignon, Jean Guy Public Communicator.